What's going on, YouTube? This is NecroStevo, and we have number two of our Oris narrated Wi Fi battles. This is a battle that I had against Josh or uh, Ray's Gear. I'll be sure to leave his Twitter link in the description if you'd like to challenge him. I had several fun battles against him. Uh, he's fun to play against. I had a roulette match against him. This right here, of course, is a UU match. Now you can see that I have several little bit um, interesting Pokemon there. He has Metagross, but of course it isn't the Mega because we are on UU. So we were seeing a Mega Blastoise there, Eviolite, Porygon 2. And I saw the team structure and I assumed that was probably going to be a Scarf Hydragon. And I of course have a Scarf um, Rotom Heat, an Eviolite Magneton, Hitmontop for the priority, which actually handles this team pretty well um, outside of the Sableye. And I have an Offensive Forges, which works really, really well against Sableye and Hydragon. So, even though I kind of picked um, more random things, I wanted to have a team structure that was more cohesive. So we both start out with our Scarfers. I just wanted to confirm that he was Scarf, so I went for Volt Switch. As he goes for U-Turn, he outsped me, so he definitely is Scarfed. Uh, he could have just stayed in and Draco Meteored me, but I didn't see that happening. He went out into Arcanine, which tells me he has the Flash Fire ability because we did not see Intimidate. And I just went for Volt Switch because there is no reason to go for a Fire Move right there. Now he hits me with Close Combat. Um, Probably the best thing he had to hit me with outside of Wild Charge. Uh, and I'm just going to set up Stealth Rock and Sticky Web. I know that his Blastoise can come in and spin them away. But I kind of want to force him to do that. Not only would, uh, it's it's relatively easy for several members of my team to switch into Blastoise, such as Forges. But it's just not really that threatening. So here he goes ahead and spins away both my Sticky Web and my, um, uh, my Stealth Rocks. And I Encore him into that Rapid Spin just to lock him in there because why not he's just gonna he's just gonna be spinning around until he's dizzy uh, he will not be a spender though i go for a struggle bug though expecting porygon 2 to switch in and he gets the boost but then i knock his uh special attack right back down with struggle bug i've been playing around with different moves in that fourth slot on uh shuckle and it, different things have different utility here i wish i definitely had toxic but i had switched to struggle bug a little while ago actually I so back up the Stealth Rocks, expecting Blastoise to come right back in. I am decided to switch right out and go out into my Magneton just to scare him out, because I know he's not going to stay, and even if he goes for Aura Sphere, um, I am Eviolite, so I'll be able to take one. Uh, and I just go straight for Thunderbolt, hoping he'll stay in and try something um, fishy there. But since he brings in Hydreigon, I can easily bring in Forges to take the Fire-type attack or the U-Turn, and he does end up going for U-Turn, which is fine by me. I could have stayed in and gone for another Thunderbolt, but that was unnecessarily risky as I do need Magneton to handle Blastoise. Now as he switches out into Metagross, I knew I couldn't really take a Meteor Mash from him and since he's not uh, the Mega Metagross, he's likely Banded or has Lumberry. It is slightly likely, likely that he could have a, a Choice Scarf, excuse me, but that's pretty unlikely. And I do manage to live both Banded Zen Headbutts, they're definitely Banded from that damage. And I'm able to burn him, which is fantastic. Uh, this is actually my Assault Fest uh, Quagsire. I have two Quagsire. One is named Weeble, one is named Wobble. And one is uh, the Assault Fest variant. And the other one is more of just a defensive wall with uh, the Unaware. So, uh, thumbs up if you get the Weeble Wobble reference. Because Quagsire definitely doesn't fall down. He's too dopey. But now that uh, I, I did not think he was going to go for Toxic again, knowing that I could easily switch into Shuckle. So I went out into Florges. Uh, I really, I'm going to try running Aromatherapy on this floor just because every time I use it, I need it more than I need Wish and Protect. Thunderbolt doesn't do that much damage at all. I was very pleased by that damage because this is a modest max HP, I think, max special attack variant that I'm running. Uh, so I was pretty impressed with that amount of damage there. Knowing that he will recover, I didn't think I could KO him with another Moonblast. So I just switched out and hit him on top, hoping I could bait him in to another Pokemon and I just decided to go out. And a new Protron, and I am able to bait him into his uh, Sableye, which is nice because now I can get the, either the Volt Switch Momentum or I can just Thunderbolt him in the face. Uh, he actually ends up burning me. That doesn't really matter for my purposes since I don't have Sturdy. I get a critical hit with my Thunderbolt, and I don't think that mattered because, of course, now critical hits do 50% more damage instead of double damage. So that means I would have been able to KO him anyway if uh, he got killed by 50% more damage. So I don't think that critical hit mattered right there, even if he recovered up. Um, expecting just a uh, fire-type attack or possibly the Draco Meteor, I went out into Forges again, 
but unfortunately uh, High Dragon does have the stopping power to put me down and unfortunately since he's Scarf I don't outspeed him even with my Slack Parry. So that kind of sucks, but that's okay because I can easily threaten him out with Colonel Twist. I really like this Pokemon. This, these Pokemon that I bred all the way back in 3rd and 4th gen, coming back now and still being effective, I haven't. I just don't want to change their their EVs or I don't want to rebreed them or anything. It's fun to use my old favorites. I knew that Mock Punch could threaten anything on his team since Sableye was gone, so there was no point to go for Fake Out. And since I have um, a Life Orb and I have my guys know Colonel Twist from several of my uploads, my weird investment, it allows me to 2 hit KO the Metagross, which is fantastic. Now here he brings in Blastoise, I'm expecting him to Mega Evolve and just go straight for the um, attack. I didn't expect him to Rapid Spin. I was hoping he would Rapid Spin, but I didn't think he would. And he actually does go for Water Pulse, which is fine by me, because that means if he's ballsy enough to go for Water Pulse, even though I still have Quagsire sitting around, that means I can get a free switch into Quagsire at some point. Uh, so I go back out into my Rotom Heat form here, and I know he's going to switch. There's no way he's going to stand right there, um, just because he can't take that hit very easily. And so I was hoping I could put Porygon in a place where I could maybe 2 hit KO it. Unfortunately, not even close. So I got to go back out into my uh, Shuggle expect the to expecting Toxic here, which he does go for. And I know he's going to recover, so I might as well uh, go ahead and Struggle Bug, lower his special attack, make it easier for something to switch in here. Um, I was also waiting for Shuckle to get knocked below 50% HP, which would activate its Gluttony ability and allow me to get my Citrus Berry. So now I will get a little bit more health. Uh, he actually does go for Ice Beam, just trying to get some damage there. And I decided to Encore him into whatever he went for. If he went for Recover, he'd be stuck doing that. If he went for Ice Beam, he's stuck doing that, and I can switch into something else. Um, if you just heard a grumbly noise, that was my stomach. I just got off work. Not sure why he's grumbling that loud. Hopefully my mic didn't pick that up. It's not a Pokemon, I promise. But here, I did expect him to switch out at some point, and he actually switched into Arcanine as I switched him to my Rotom, which is great. I get to go for a lovely attack of some sort. I actually decided to go for Thunderbolt because I thought he would stay in expecting me to switch. And we're in this position against the Porygons 2 again. I actually hit a critical hit and a para, which that probably definitely mattered because he gets paralyzed on that turn. Uh, to make up for a little bit of that hacks right there, I actually switch out hoping that he just recovers there because that was kind of crappy. And we were having a lot of fun with those battles. Um, but it's actually not going to matter too much that I got that critical hit para because Mach Punch is still a 2 hit KO. Now he gets paralyzed again and if he was going for recover, then that paralysis mattered. If he was trying to attack me, then the paralysis didn't matter and there's certainly no attack he could use that will one hit KO my hit on top with its nicely bulky EV spread. I do need to hold on to hit on top in order to hit the Scarf High Dragon, so I'm not going to let it go down and here I switched into Wobble hoping he would use a water move and he does just that which is fantastic. I'm able to get a little bit of HP back, maybe have some longevity later on. Uh, thinking that he's going to go for Aura Sphere, I switched into Shuckle, and Shuckle actually takes that attack. I was pretty impressed right there. Uh, he just goes for another Aura Sphere in case I wanted to switch back into Quagsire, which I was not going to put Quagsire in danger like that, just in case I needed him. You never know when you need a Water Absorber there. Here I just went for Volt Switch because I knew either move would KO and I didn't want to be stuck in against his High Dragon with Thunderbolt and it would be much better for me to go back out into Wobble and force him to lock himself into a move with either his um, High Dragon or at least to have him use Close Combat from his Arcanine. So Arcanine ends up using Close Combat. He also probably could have easily knocked me out with Extreme Speed, maybe? I don't know, I was at max HP, never mind. He would definitely need Close Combat or something like that. Uh, but with that low HP, he cannot take a Mach Punch from that range. And that means all he has left is High Dragon. And with the Stealth Rock damage, High Dragon can't take a Mach Punch from that range either. Now, so that means that Colonel Twist is going to be able to finish up this battle quite nicely. I believe Colonel Twist got three KOs in one battle. So good job, Hitmontop. You did a, a lot during that battle. But I enjoyed that battle a lot, Josh. So thank you very much for the match. And I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. Um... Not so much in the lines of specific specific things that are only available in Omega Ruby Alpha Sapphire. But you can see how UU has changed a little bit. So I hope you guys enjoyed the battle. And I will talk to you all later. Bye bye now.